kind of a funny way to end the regular season. Uh, and a lot of ups and downs this year for this team, but had a lot of games under my belt. I thought the environment here was great. Um, Maryland did a good job. Um, and the difference of the game is we had some freshmen that played awfully well, but in money time, their junior, their superstar, um, not only did he score baskets, uh, I thought we did a decent job on that, you know, uh, but he made plays. Um, sometimes it wasn't the assist. I think you guys at Maryland are a little stingy on assists around here, but I thought he had some great assists, but he had hockey assists where, you know, his play dragging three people with him led to a pass that led to the next pass. And uh, they hit a couple big threes. Um, but, you know, at the end of that game, we had Miles with a wide open shot and he just missed it. We had Boy, on that fast break when it was 60-60, we had um, Elvin Ellis with a wide open three and then, of course, the layup. Uh, I thought our execution was really good uh, on a lot of plays we ran. I couldn't ask for more of my team except to make a few easier shots. But give them credit. Uh, I think we defended it as well as we wanted to defend it. And no problem with that. A uh, great player made a great play. And... Uh, Hats off to him for sticking around and and making sure that he got better each year. And uh, I think the job he's done with those young guys has been uh, something that uh, I really appreciate being in the Big Ten and actually being in college basketball. So I'll take questions. On the last uh, three minutes there, uh, after Nick had had that big run, uh, what, what went wrong there? And I guess that last possession where Cassius kind of fed it into him, was that he needed to take a shot there or was that just? No, oh. Nick, we just shouldn't have hit him when he's, you know, Nick was supposed to be down, although it was a wrestling match down there. There were some bizarre calls now, you know, some traveling, some weird calls too, uh, I thought. And there was a wrestling match down there. Cassius still th threw it into him. He was almost at the free throw line. You don't give the ball to Nick Ward there. That was, that was our fault. Uh, Nick's fault. I mean, you know, he made a pretty good move, but he shot it with the ball on his forearm instead on his fingers, which he does on occasion. He did it early in the game. That was the only play. I mean, everything else we ran, I thought we ran to perfection. That was one we didn't. Uh, and just because I think Cash has panicked a little bit, felt like he had to throw it into Nick, and Nick uh, either lost position or uh, Dodd beat the hell out of him and pushed him out, one of the two. But uh, we did not uh, handle that very well. Tom, I know uh, the other day you were you were frustrated with the way the guys played, but to bounce back this way, I know they missed some shots, but the execution seemed better, only eight yeah. turnovers. Did you yeah. like the way they responded overall? Oh, over? unbelievable. You know, we were so tired. We had midterm exams. I thought it was poor that the Big Ten office put us in this position to play Sunday, Wednesday night at 9, and then travel here. We got in late. We had a shoot around here at 9.30 at night. So a good excuse. If someone doesn't like it, I really don't give a damn. Um, I think that's ridiculous to do to a student athlete. Um, but, you know, we didn't practice very well Thursday. Uh, we just kind of walked through. We were walking on our hands. We got in at 3 in the morning, and they had five midterms. And then on uh, Friday, we, we were average practice, and we had to make the big debate on whether we shoot around here. And our plane was late, and so we didn't get in here until 9.30. And for some ungodly reason, Miles Bridges was so jacked during the shoot around, and it just kind of changed the whole Momentum. So when we got back to the hotel and ate at 10:30, um, there was just a different demeanor. And uh, I had, listen, that's a good team we beat um, in a tough environment. I couldn't ask for more of my guys. We made our mistakes. We're going to make mistakes. I'm sure, Mark's freshman made some mistakes too. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm about as proud as I could be of them. You know, we out rebounded them. We uh, turned it over eight times, which for us is, as we know, is a major miracle. And, uh, you know, we didn't shoot quite as well, but we missed some good shots. Our goal at the game was to get 60 shots up. We got 60 right on the head. Um, I have very little complaints except the last shot went in by a, by a star. I mean, he, he did a hell of a job. I have a lot of credit for Mello, and I'm, uh, I guess I'm happy for him just because he stands for, uh, I think a lot of people look at what he's doing and, and uh, I think he's done it the right way. Whatever he decides to do this year, I'm, I'll be a fan. 
the, the de you made the defensive substitutions, obviously, for that that final possession. And I guess kind of what was the message, whatever, to to Tom on, on that was it, you know, to to stay stay on. Yeah, him. stay in front of him. Uh, Miles got a little caught up there. He wasn't supposed to do that. We were switching five, so we had Kenny in there. The guy made a hell of a shot. You know, I got no. Um, Probably you guys would be the only one that could second guess that. I would know. I have no second guesses. He did exactly what I wanted and exactly what he should do. And a great player hit a great shot from 25 feet. And that's what that's what veteran guys do. And uh, that's that's exactly what I told my team. Um, I just don't have one of those. And uh, give him credit. Tom, given after the Wisconsin game, you, I think you thought you, probably in the tournament. Do you feel like the way you're playing right now and, and the resume that you belong? You know, I really don't care. I, I, I say that about as honestly as I can, you know. I, I've heard nothing about the schedule we've played. We played three number one teams, and if I go into that and I'm looking to plead, uh, we're 10 and 8. I think the other, I blame all you guys. So I'm going to blame everybody in this room. They, We have not done a good job in promoting the Big Ten, you know. I, the ACC must have, I mean, I don't know, Virginia loses a game and it's because everybody else is good. The, the uh Pac-10, Walton's out there at Champions Conference. Uh, you know, nobody talks about our conference. That's our fault. That's your fault. That's my fault. Um, if you think it's easy to go on the road in this conference and win anywhere, you know, and maybe Penn State was the one place that doesn't sell out and we played them in the Palestra. Shows you how frickin' dumb I am. But, uh, you know, our resume, you know, did we beat any of those teams? No. We played three number one teams in Arizona. Uh, you know what? I'm not, I don't lose sleep over a, a streak. I, 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 what I'll lose sleep over is losing a game that I thought our kids played their hearts out. And uh, we're, we're a good enough team to be in that tournament, in my opinion, but I'm prejudiced. And whatever they think, that's what they do. Be no politicking for that. With, with Miles and Nick, I think combined for, you know, well over 30 shots, do you think, you know, at this point of the year, is that, is that the, the recipe, just kind of bulk shooting for those two? Not really. Um, we felt we could go at them inside. They don't have a lot of depth in there either, and that's, that, like, never happens for us, you know. And uh, we, we put a few wrinkles in that they really started going to miles, and we actually used him as a decoy some of the second half to get it down there, and we made some great passes in there, great plays. He had that three-point play. He still missed some shots. Nick, Nick had a problem reverting back to putting the ball on his I – mean, I'm sure you guys could see it. I mean, when one time he shot the ball from his elbow, that's hard to do. You know, I should give him credit for that because the ball was falling all the way down his elbow. That's one of the negative things he's got to get better at. But he had shot after shot in there, and, and yet he also made his free throws. Uh, Miles, we spread the court. We did some things for him. Um, you know, I thought Elvin Ellis missed a couple good shots. Um, I thought Josh didn't have maybe one of his better games. Uh, you know, it's hard to have everybody have a good game, but I don't know. It depends on the team we play and how we, what we do, you know. And uh, give Nick and Miles credit. They, uh, they did what they needed to do. Tom, a couple of years ago you, uh, you referred to Mello as, I think, the, stir, uh, the, the straw that stirs the drink here, uh, what, he did, what he did as a freshman. Where, where do you see his game? today compared to then in terms of, you know, do you just see a more mature kid? More oh, a lot more mature, you know. The uh, head wagging is gone. You know, he doesn't get as many fouls. But uh, he's more of a man to me. He takes it right at you. Um, he stirred the drink. Now he stirred it, made it, and drank it. You know, he does all of them now. And uh, I give him credit for that. Uh, it's kind of fun when you get to see this day and age somebody actually grow. And you know what? It's going to benefit him. He'll probably be playing in the D League somewhere and doing this and that. Now he's giving himself a better chance. So I'm not promoting it one way or another. I just I respect what he's done. I I I, I didn't want to say hello to him in the line because I was mad at him for what he did to me. But I also respected it, so I told him I was proud of him. Tom, with that that stretch with Nick, you brought Kenny back in for that little bit. Yeah, see, how, the, how tired was Nick when well, he Well, he was a little bit tired, but the problem that's hard to see from, you know, we have some guys that can guard people and we have some guys that can't guard people. And so some of those things, when Mallow is using those ball screens, it's difficult. You know, Nick was a little tired. I'm sure that was it. But he's, you know, he's, he's 
I don't think any of you or me or anyone else is voting them for the all defensive team yet. You know, that's that's still in the process. And uh, so we tried to do as much as we could using our timeouts and that. And listen, I don't regret one thing we did except not make a couple shots. Yeah. Obviously, you have to go home and come right on back uh, for, for a Thursday game. Yeah, I might call Gary Williams, just stay with him and let my team go home. And you know, you'd have a good time with Gary. And. Uh, <laughs> Maybe him and I go play congressional and play a little golf. And, um, but, but you know, yeah. we're on break, and uh, and I told my team, you know, we're playing better. You know, we've won six out of ten. We had won six out of eight. Uh, we lost two in a row, a tough game to Illinois where I didn't think we played as good. And I thought we played good enough here. We got the shots we wanted. We just didn't make some of them. That I can't complain about. This is a much better team than the team that was there a month ago. What I really like most about this team that I told my guy in my media is, you know, I threw that white elephant out at, at uh, Nebraska, what, seven, eight games ago. I told them, we've got to win some games. We're not going to make it a tournament. They responded. And that's kind of what you want out of a team. Can they respond? You know, they responded from being dead tired coming off that Illinois thing. They responded. And I think that's what you ask of a team, you know. Can you respond? Can you pull up your bootstraps and do the job you got to do? And... Uh, and for that, I feel very good about my team. And if we get into any tournament, um, we're going to be a hard out, uh, you know, whether we're good enough to, uh, to sustain some things over a period of time. We better not win a game because these guys are that close, I think, from taking another giant step. And that's what I'm going to try to do. You know, we got some time. Uh, I don't know when we play Thursday. I, I, I don't You guys might know. I really don't even care who we play or where we play or when we play. But I do care that I'm going to get a couple days, tomorrow off, a couple days, or maybe we can have two a days and look at it and figure out what we got to get better at. And we're going to do that, and I'm going to dedicate those three days to them, and I think they'll dedicate it to me, and we'll see if we can come back out here in Washington and uh, at the uh, was it Verizon Center and see if we can play well. Anything, anything else, guys? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, he's going to be a good player, too. Uh, he's a mini mellow, but he's uh, he ain't mellow, though. Um, good player, and, and and seems like he has a good demeanor to him, um, good quickness. Um, but, uh, you know, he did some things at, at the beginning of the half, but when everything was on the line, certain guys were making either, like I said, the shot, the first pass, or the hockey pass assist, you know, and that was Trumbull. So I like Collins. I thought he did a good job. Uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, we did a decent job on Brantley. We were really concerned about him. Uh, and the other kid that, you know, we were really concerned about was Jackson and did a decent job. But because of Trumbull penetrating so much, um, we helped out a couple times and he hit two big threes, including one late right in front of their bench that, you know, was a was a killer. So, anything else? Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week.